it is redeeming that of the three films that release, the one that's doing better is the Rajkumar Rao Saru hit the first place. Arguably because the other two movies are launched on larger scales, bigger names. In contrast, Sailesh Kolame, who made the Telugu version of this film, is a name unknown, and comes up with a whodunit, which keeps you on the edge of your seat for almost a good part of the 136 minute narrative. Our filmmakers will take a while to understand that whodunits must last for 90 minutes, 100 minutes. And you need to chop a lot of the irrelevant to get some kind of relevance to the manner of storytelling. But while that takes a while, we will sit back and enjoy some amazing films attributable sometimes to brilliant performances like the one on the screen. Rajkumar Rao suffers a post-traumatic stress disorder. While me being no student of medicine, these big words are fearful. I go with what I would call the Zanjir syndrome. When you suffer a trauma and it creates a disorder in you, like the little boy in Zanjir, here the protagonist, Vikram, who is a police officer, suffers the disorder when Pushpa suffers and he is helpless in either a murder or we won't know, it's untold. Be ready for another V2 of the film. And the director tells you there's going to be a V2. The other aspect of the film, of course, is the story of how notwithstanding him suffering a post-traumatic stress disorder. He, as a police officer, is highly rated and is given the project of having to find out the disappearance of a young 18-year-old girl, Preeti. Alongside the disappearance of Preeti is also Neha, played by Sanya Malhotra, who is the romantic interest in Vikram's life. She too goes missing. However, that case cannot be given to him because while the needle of suspicion stops at various stations, one such is Vikram himself. So he has an ongoing battle with a colleague of his who takes over the investigation into the case. So the parallel investigations, one into the disappearance of Neha and the other into the disappearance of Preeti, tells the story. I'm not going to tell you anything more about the film. 136 minutes of Raj Kumar Rao. What more can somebody offer you on a playback? Go for it. Sleekly edited, well stated, the direction, the writing, and the screenplay, all are done by Salish Kolame, except that I would have liked the film to be sharper at its editing table. It's well written. Also, the finale is an anticlimax, and needlessly some pulpit talking. I'm going to stay away from that because that also will be telling you what it is about. But as I sign off, a few things. One, thanks to Abhinav and Dabdi. Thanks, Salesh, for giving us a nice whodunit, Streets of Agatha Christie, but not completely Western. The typical wavering needle of suspicion over the 
various people who obviously are not going to be the culprits. If they are, the director is not going to spend time. That's elementary, Watson. And most importantly, Rajkumar Rao. I'm disappointed with a part of the cast. One of the main culprits, played by Shilpa Shukla, is very half-baked. Milan Gunaji is good. Dalit Tahir, playing a very stereotypical police officer, brings a lot of meat to his character. Amazing performance from Dalit Tahir. But obviously, the cream is Raj Kumar Rao. I always cite a scene from Kabi Kabi, just before the interview. Vahida Rahman's reaction when she sees Neetu Singh. There's anxiety, there's fear, there's happiness, there's sorrow, there's guilt, everything on a single face. Almost matching that is the scene in this film when the protagonist, Vikram Rajkumar Rao, realizes whose body has been buried. Amazing. This tells the man's complete control of the craft. No. It talks perhaps of a metamorphosis from acting as a craft to acting as an art. Rajkumar Rao carries this film brilliantly on his newly well made shoulders. I would recommend hit the first place. Not because it's a brilliant film, not because it is somewhere like Kamosh or one of the best whodunits of our cinema, but it's engaging, it is interesting, and above all, it's performance centric with Raj Kumar Rao. On that note, hope to hear from you. I'm hoping that all of you would invest on some good cinema and buy your tickets and watch Hit 